Was the night before life day, when all through the, um, sand crawler, not a creature was stirring, not even a, womp, rat. This doesn't rhyme at all. Oh to hell with this. Welcome to the famous Jawas Life Day special. Like many individuals in the galaxy, the Jawas also celebrate Life Day. You are probably wondering, how did the Jawas come to celebrate Life Day? Very long ago, sometime after the Great Scrap War, a Wookiee came to Tatooine. One day the Wookiee was very sad. A Jawa noticed and asked the Wookiee why he was so sad. The Wookiee then told the Jawa all about this ancient Wookiee holiday called Life Day. The Jawa went home and told his clan about it. All the Jawas were intrigued by it. So the next day they invited the Wookiee over and together they celebrated Life Day. Word of this holiday spread amongst the Jawa clans like fire. And since then the Jawas celebrate Life Day every year. During Life Day the Jawas will decorate their sand crawlers and open their advent calendars. Go caroling with hopes that the people they annoy will give them some free scrap and cookies. And organize big parties with lots of dancing and delicious food. And then, on Life Day, Santa Jawa will deliver presents to all the Jawas across the galaxy. Nobody knows who Santa Jawa really is. The Ugnaughts like to claim Santa Jawa is not real. But Ugnaughts are dumb and don't know anything. There are a few legends associated with Santa Jawa. One legend says that Santa Jawa is none other than that very Jawa who met the Wookiee so long ago. During that first Life Day celebration he handed out presents to everyone who attended. He loved giving out presents so much that the next Life Day he decided to give every Jawa on Tatooine a present. And eventually he started giving presents to all the Jawas across the galaxy. It cannot be explained however how this Jawa is still alive after so many centuries. Nor can it be explained how he got a flying red-nosed panther, since panthers can't fly. Another legend states that Santa Jawa was a rich Jawa merchant. One day he heard of a Jawa who had been robbed by Ugnaughts. This Jawa could no longer afford to pay rent or feed his children. The rich Jawa merchant then left a box filled with scrap on their doorstep, saving the Jawa and his children from becoming homeless and starving to death. The rich Jawa merchant felt really good about making these Jawas happy. The next night, which happened to be Life Day Eve, the spirit of the first Jaraman visited the rich Jawa merchant. The first Jaraman rewarded the rich Jawa merchant with immortality and gave him the task to hand out presents to all Jawas every year on Life Day. A third legend states that a long time ago, on Life Day Eve, an evil Ugnaught with horns, called Douglas, was kidnapping Jawa children, but a brave Jawa caught him in the act and beat the shit out of him. The Jawa children were rescued, and Douglas ran away like a coward. However later that evening Douglas returned, and murdered that Jawa. But when Douglas tried to kidnap another Jawa child, the spirit of the brave Jawa appeared, and scared him away once more. The Jawa started calling him, the spirit of life day, and some believe this spirit somehow became Santa Jawa. And Douglas. He became a demon-like figure Jawa parents used to scare their children into behaving, telling them that if they misbehave, Agnes will come and take them. What the truth is, nobody knows. But Santa Jawa is definitely real, and if you have been a good Jawa this year, then you can expect him to deliver some presents for you this Life Day's Eve too. Happy Life Day everyone. Until next time.